In this video, I'm going to show you how to send push notifications to the iOS simulator. If you are unfamiliar with using notifications, you can check out this article. We're going to be following along this article to generate a remote notification. First thing you want to do is create a new Swift UI project, but this can also be done in Storyboard. Let's create a project and save it somewhere on our desktop. One thing we're going to do is change the text inside of the content view, but everything else is going to be done inside of the app file. Now let's close this and go to the app file right here. What we're going to want to do is create a class called app delegate. And let's make this NS object and also UI application delegate. And we need to create a function for did finish launching with options. Inside of here, we're just going to return true. First function is going to be register for notifications. What you want to do is first import user notifications library up top. And then here we're going to call UN user notification center dot current dot request authorization. We need to pass in options. So we're going to pass in alert, sound, and badge. And completion handler, we're going to get the granted permission and also any errors. Now we're going to call this function inside of the did finish launching with options function right here. Inside of the app, we're going to say add application delegate adapter, pass in app delegate dot self. And so let's create a variable called app delegate. And that's going to be used inside of this uh, scene right here. Let's run the application and see the pop-up for allowing notifications. All right, next thing that we have to do is create a notification file that ends in .apns. This is a JSON-like structure. Uh, so what we need to do is get this bundle identifier and put it right here inside of simulator target bundle. You can change these values however you want. We take this file and we drag it onto the simulator and that's how we get the notification. But if you notice, if we drag this file while the application is running, it's not working. We're going to have to do uh, one other thing inside of the app delegate. So one thing we have to do is conform to UN user notification center delegates. And we have to use this function called will present. We're going to say completion handler and here we're going to pass in some presentation options. Now if we run this and drag the notification file on the simulator, it should be working properly. Next thing I want to show you is how to send a notification through the terminal. This is going to be found in the, the GitHub readme. 
First thing you want to do is get the ID of the simulator. So go right here, copy this identifier. Next, we have to get the bundle ID of the project. So go right here, get this. And now we have to specify the path of the notification file. And now if we press enter, we get the notification right into the simulator. That's going to do it for this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and connect with me on LinkedIn or join our Discord. All the links will be down in the description down below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Goodbye now.